Now, the Ocarina movement emerged in the 1920s and it was characterized by a blend of Christianity and Kikuyu traditional beliefs, practices and values. This week on Mike Culture, we focus on the evolution of the Ocarina faith. Faith originated in late 1920s and early 1930s at the heart of central Kenya in Limoro, Kambu County. It was registered in Kenya in 1959. A Corino faith is one of the denominations collectively referred to as African independent churches. For many years, this sect was predominantly Kikuyu, that's why Akorino is a blend of Christianity and Kikuyu traditional beliefs, practices and values. To date, the Akorino faith has a national outlook as different tribes have converted to the faith. Akorino ni moja. Hii nataka ni kueleze wazi ya kwamba kama amefunga kilamba ya redi, kama amefunga ya green ya magani, awa Akorino ni Singularly, Mokorino, the Akorino, we are referred to using different names such as Watuamungu, meaning people of God, Arathi, meaning prophets or seers, Aroti, meaning dreamers, Arataroho, meaning friends of the spirit, among others. Haikuwa Wakurino, ilikuwa wao ni Aroti, walikuwa naitua Aroti. Lakini sasa walipenda kuimba wimba unaosema uh, Jesu mkori wito. Arafu hiyo ndio ilifanya wao wakaitwa wakurinu. Jesu mkori. Wale waliuliza waliuliza mkorino. Nae waliosikia walimuona hendi anaitwa mkorino. Lakini yeye si mkorino. Wao ni, ni watu ambaye mungu alikuwa akiwapa maneno kwa ndoto, kwa maono. Presently, Many Akorino splinter groups have been registered. Dating back to pre-independence Kenya, the Akorino faith was strictly conservative, however, that has drastically transformed. In the past, the followers had different practices such as wearing a turban as a symbol of peace. Mane ya kiremba ni jifu. Mane ya jifu ni kusama umenye nyekea hu nae mungu wa wasikie. Kiremba hii unaona ni jifu. Sasa kuliko kujimwagia jifu, tunapaka ni, tunafunga kiremba. The members widely followed the teachings of Leviticus, the third book of the Old Testament in the Bible that spells out the laws governing their life. Ili vizuri kuifuata vile mungu alisema kwa walavi, na kuwaona ile kazi tunafanya ni ile ilio pewa wale. Wale si kujipatia kazi walijipatia, hawa kuona kazi mzuri, lakini mungu aliwachagua mwenyewe, alieteua na kuwa, e, kuwa amewaweka wakufu, walikuwa aravi. Nona, wale ambaye ni watu, walikuwa wakimutumia mungu, wakimutumikia mungu. accompanied by loud prayers, weeping, shaking, jumping, with a strong belief in visions and dreams. These even as they were opposed to the use of modern medicine and instead used traditional herbal medicine together with faith healing. <laughs> walikuwa wamekatazwa kunywa dawa watu walipoanza kusema habari ya dawa kuna watu walikatalia kwa kusema hapana Mungu ndiye alisema tusikunywe dawa hata sasa tutakunywa wengine naye wakaingia wana wamesoma wakasema tutakunywa dawa si sasa mnagawanya mpango uzazi si yetu kwa sababu Mungu mwenyewe ndiye alisema endeni mzae na mujaze dunia na muishinde unasikia ni Mungu alisema Worshippers were not allowed to enter a church with money. Aroti na ndiyo wakurinu. Hawa kutaka pesa mana, iyo mambo ya pesa ikiingia, hakuna njia ingine mzuri na kuwa. Watu wanakuwa hawasikirizani. 
At the same time, married women adorn their corona ring, which is a cloth veil worn together with their blouses instead of a wedding ring. Ile pete mungu aliwapatia ni yoga shuka unaona wanafanya wanava. Mustian havezi va yo. Sababu haja oleka. Lakini mama kisha oleka na vagan yo. Lakini wale sasa sa ingine unaona wanapenda pete sababu kunao sasa wametokezea na wanava pete. Ni kulingana na vile mtu anaona yeye anataka na anamuongelesha mchungaji wake anamwambia ni sawa. They chose not to take oaths even in a court of law, refrain from enrolling in the disciplined forces. Kuongea ataweka bibiria, atawekelea mkono yake chini. Sababu yeye hawezi kukula kiapo aseme ati nachukua Bible hii niseme hivi na hivi. Hivi ni kuonyesha wewe umesahau Mungu anasema nini habari ya kiapo. Kiapo huwezi kula na ndipozo unaona mkurinu hawezi kula kiapo. Kama unataka ale kiapo pengine asike kifua yake hata kotini akiingia hivi kama atafungwa atafungwa tu maana yeye hawezi inua bibiria aseme yale maneno anasema ni ya ukweli kweli kabisa. In the past, members were not allowed to marry outside the faith, modesty dressing was strictly enforced, taking alcohol and any form of secularism were forbidden. Over time, evolution has been witnessed. Today, members can marry whomever they please and dress more freely. Jackie Wambiru, My Culture.